Bonjour, my name is Sandrine Imbert. I am a group leader at the Grenoble Institute of Neuroscience in France. Bonjour, my name is Monia Barna. I'm a postdoctoral fellow and the main contributor to the study published in this issue of Neuron. So in the lab, our main interest is Huntington disease, which we call HD. HD is a severe neurological condition caused by mutation in the Huntington protein. So HD manifests mostly in adults. However, wild type and mutant Huntington are expressed during development and studies support that brain development may be abnormal in HD, leading to specific adult manifestations. Our focus in the lab is us to understand the role of Huntington during cortical development in health and disease, and we center our attention on cortex because this region is affected early on during disease progression. During cortical development, progenitors divide, differentiate, undergo a multipolar to bipolar transition and migrate along the radial glia to reach their final position, as illustrated by the acrobat on aerial silk. We observed Huntington and reached in the region where cells polarize and start their migration. So, what is the role of Huntington in post-mitotic projection neurons? Using a combination of genetic mouse model and in utero electroporation, we show that Huntington regulates the polarization switch of post-mitotic cells. In absence of Huntington, we found less cells undergoing the multipolar-bipolar transition at E16. Huntington is also important for the maintenance of the polarity during migration, and in absence of Huntington, this mechanism is impaired. As a consequence, absence of Huntington results in delayed migration at E18. This phenotype can be rescued by re-expressing wild-type Huntington. In contrast, mutant Huntington has lost the capacity to promote neuronal migration. Thus, Huntington is important for the polarization and subsequent migration of neurons. What are the underlying molecular mechanisms? Encaderin is important for the adhesion between migrating neurons and radial glia. This involves the GTPase RAB11, mediating the membrane recycling of NCAD in migrating neurons. As an Huntington regulates RAB11 recycling activity, we hypothesize that Huntington may affect neuronal polarization through the RAB11 mediated trafficking of NCAD. In control neurons, NCAD is present in the leading process of migrating cells whereas in mutant neurons it accumulated in the perinuclear region. And the localization of NCAD in leading processes was rescued by re-expressing RAB11. To address the relevance of these findings, we focused on the migration phenotype and found that expressing RAB11 rescues migration defects induced by loss of Huntington. Finally, what are the adult consequences of embryonic function of Huntington. We took advantage of an inducible CRE to compare adult dendritic morphology in two conditions, an embryonic and postnatal loss of Huntington and a loss restricted to postnatal stages. Postnatal deletion of Huntington induced a decrease of dendritic arborization. The decrease was even stronger when Huntington was depleted from embryonic development. In conclusion of this study, we show that Huntington is an intrinsic regulator of the RAB11 and caderin polarity pathway during cortical development. The function of Huntington during embryonic development impacts on neuronal morphology in the adult cortex. We thus like to propose that early developmental abnormalities may contribute to the susceptibility of projection neurons in HD.